What's up everyone? Welcome back to Joe PCs and um, we have another PC in and the PC is basically crushed on that. Um, it looks pretty brand new actually. There's no there's no dust or anything on the on the mount on there. Uh, on the heatsink on the mount. What the hell am I on the mount? So it's a bit of a weird one because I've just thrown it up now to see what comes up and yeah done this and it's boot looped to that as well so if it turns off it goes straight back onto that what i'm thinking i could be wrong with this being the, the most beautiful thank you manufacturers for that design um i have a feeling that it could be the ram am i right or am i wrong i don't know but let's find out anyway so let me turn the camera around I'm going to literally record myself taking out one of the RAM sticks and turn it back on again, so let's see. Right, it's only just turned off, so I'm going to flick this off here at the power supply. Good thing about the UK as well, if you're watching from anywhere else, all everything here, safest for the plugs we have in the UK, are our, um, are our mains. So just in case people, oh god, it's not grounded. Yes, it is. But I've turned it off anyway. So let's take out this dim slot. Is there any? Nope, it's just this one. I always look to these first because if they've been pre-built, these usually use cheap things. And uh, say data, which they're not horrendous, but at the same time, you can have problems. What's this? This is an eight gig stick, 32,000 megahertz. But done that let's see if this works ready this is where everyone goes it's not gonna work probably won't watch me look stupid now oh yeah no that no i know what you guys say now didn't work. Now you owe us money. No, we don't. Right, okay, so sometimes that does work, all right? Sometimes that does work because it's not booting because there's something that failed. <sighs> Might have to be a complete hard reset. But before we do that, I'm going to... I've got another stick of RAM. Just in case this RAM is a bad RAM and that one's an all right RAM. But I'm going to take them both out, put a different RAM stick in it. And I'm also going to take this GPU out. I know you guys are probably thinking, just, just reset the computer. I will reset the computer if it doesn't work. I have approved a point. I have to do my service and maintenance here, right? Okay. Got to test everything, make sure everything works before I give it back to the customer. So, the GTX card is coming out and another GTX card is going in. GTX card's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so I'm going to do the round first. No, I'm not going to do the run first. The GPU is working fine. It's booted. It, it's showing a display. But just in case the computer does not like it, I'm going to throw a different one in. So, shh, stop. In one, that does not need a power supply unit as well. So, even better. Got the other GPU in. It's going to do the same thing again, isn't it? I am I hope it does because it's going to cost money to replace this. Please just crash. Please just crashed just stay crashed so i can tell them that it's not the graphics card thank you perfect i know what it is then it's that thing that boot drive that a data boot drive again because it's like the third ssd from a data that has failed and i've done all it is about a data and their technology but it just fails every computer that comes in with a boot problem is the is that but I always make sure to test the components like the RAM, the GPU, because it can make the system crash if the system's picking something up that I don't like. However, I am happy that it's not this, mainly this. The RAM, uh, it could do with being upgraded, to be honest, because a data again, I'm watching you. But that needs replacing. As long as that is the boot drive, I don't see any SATA data coming out. So it's that. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna swap this over and just do a full clean install. Cause I guarantee I will not be able to get in 
to the USB drive with my windows on it on here so let's give it a go see what happens this might be a very quick video but a quick informative video um, because I need to make more content and I have two videos to edit two videos this will be my third video I need to edit and upload to my channel so I'm so sorry about that so let's do that now let's get it sorted just to make sure it works just threw it in and screwed it in just in case it was a motherboard problem oh and look it's actually managed to load onto my USB so this a data again third computer the third one this has failed so i don't know what they use on it it's made in china i guess they're all made in china but i don't know just a date it seems to fail quite a fair bit but let's get a new windows on here and uh, yeah get back to the customer so that's all done now booted into windows and i'm just going to do all of these and it should be good to go other than that Thank you guys so much for watching my video again and hope you guys like the rebrand of the channel that goes with my uh, company overall. Uh, I've got Facebook and Instagram so if you guys want to follow me on there you can, the link will be in the description. And if you are from the Cheshire area uh, or Sandbach area um, and you need any work doing, pop in and I'll sort you out and if, and if you want I can throw you on my YouTube channel. So yeah, got another two videos coming so stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video of a remake. See you later, everyone.